This is an overview of the Retrospect for Macintosh product. When you first open Retrospect, you're going to see the Retrospect dashboard, which will give you information about current backups and previous backup operations that may have taken place with this copy of Retrospect. Under Activities, you can see specific items such as scheduled backups, waiting backups, backups that are currently running, your past backup operations, and any proactive AI scripts that are currently active. Under past backups, you're going to see a listing of your previous backup operations, and you have the ability to browse those backups and see what files were copied on those specific dates and times. Under the scripts menu, you have the ability to create new scripts or add new scripts for scheduled backup operations. Under sources, you can see a listing of all of your locally attached source drives. You can see NAS devices that have been added to Retrospect, and you can see client computers that have also been added to Retrospect. Under the Media Sets window, you have the ability to create new media sets, or you can manage existing media sets by viewing the number of members. You can view the number of backups and set options such as grooming. You also have the ability to perform catalog rebuilds or catalog repairs from inside the media set window. Storage devices will give you a listing of your currently available tape devices that are attached to your copy of Retrospect. And then you have a series of reports that also appear on the left side of Retrospect. At the very top of Retrospect, you have a backup button, which will initiate a backup wizard. You also have a copy button, which will initiate a copy wizard for running a what we consider to be a duplicate, which copies the data in the original data format from one disk to the other. You also have a restore wizard, where you can select individual files and folders you want to restore, or you can restore an entire volume if necessary. Under the Retrospect menu, you have Preferences. Inside the Preferences, you can specify things such as the number of allowed execution units. You can configure your client options. You have some cloud-specific settings, media set-specific settings, settings for your network, email notification. This is where you can create new customized rules for filtering out backup data. You have licenses to view your current Retrospect license or add Retrospect licenses. You have your management console settings, automatic updates, and under the console button, you can show the number of activities and you can also export the engine installer and uninstaller if you want to have access to the actual installer for the Retrospect engine. Inside System Preferences on the Macintosh, you also have access to the Retrospect Engine where you can stop and start the Retrospect Engine and stop and start the Retrospect Instant Scan feature. 